Hey, welcome back. This is Dr. Reveles, and I'm going to show how to solve a problem of a calibration using linear regression on Excel and removing some of the points. So scientific instruments such as spectrometers will have a linear and nonlinear responses as a function of sample concentration. So we are measuring the concentration as a function of this case of fluorescence. When developing a calibration curve, one must remove samples that show no linear responses. So we want to have a linear model. There are rigorous tools to do so, but for this case, we are going to do by hand, uh, uh, determining which points we need to discard. So we have here a table. And the first thing that I would recommend, you want to label your variables. This is my X variable. This is the input, the fluorescence, and the Y is the output. This is by X. Uh, experimental concentration. Let's do a graph with this uh, data. So I select the data, insert, chart, scatter. So this is my scatter data. Now what I can see here, um, it follows a trend that as fluorescence increases, uh, concentration increases, right? So let's add the labels here. Let's add the labels. Okay, this is just adding the labels, right? So remember, X is the fluorescence, Y is the concentration. Now I'm going to uh, right click, add trend line, linear display equation, display R square. Okay, this is our model. The model is the dashed line. Now we can see uh, the R square is not. It's not great, it's 0.95, but it's remember it has to be one, to be a perfect fit or as close as possible to one. So another point of this problem is which points should we do this card to make uh, which are following a nonlinear behavior. So we are going to, uh, by uh, inspection, say the one to get rid of these two points that are following nonlinear. So we're going to make a second graph that now doesn't have those points. So first, Identifying these points, these are these two points on my table. So I'm going to make a second chart here. So insert, chart, scatter. Now I'm going to select the data again. So select data, add the X values, not going to be all these X values, except the ones I have highlighted. So I make a comma and the next values here. Y values will be here. Again, I'm skipping those, which I want to discard here again. And this is the graph, which you can see it looks similar to the initial one, but now have this uh, removing these two points. Right click, add trend line, linear display equation, display R square. You can see that our model, model is now much more better. It's now R square value is 0 0.9965. So let's make it. Let's add some labels here. Okay, that will be just my graph, adding the labels for the uh, X and Y um, variables. Final point, that, uh, find out, determine the unknown concentrations for given here. Uh, now here is when it comes really important. X is the fluorescence, and what we are looking for is the Y, right? See data doesn't have to give us in the same order as we have initially. So that's why I want to label. And these are my model concentrations. For that, I'm going to use the equation here which we have, this is the model. So I want to say Y equals slope 0.528 times the X, which is here, plus the y-intercept in this case is negative 0.9784. So that is my model concentration. I can copy the formula and paste it here. This is the new model concentrations for these fluorescence intensities. Okay, so you can use this uh, to solve other problems. Uh, just check that your uh, numbers may be different and that you can discard other points. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.